Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of Catch Fletch. Today, I'm located over in Latshaw Plaza, and I found Nate Leonard, who happens to be the one in charge of the Hancock Symposium, one of the real highlights of uh, activity at Westminster College. Nate, why don't you tell me a little bit about the symposium? Well, we're doing symposium next week on the 11th and 12th of September, and we've got an incredible group of speakers who are coming from all, literally all over the world to come and speak about creativity and innovation. Wow. Yeah. Well, is this, um, how long has this symposium been going on? How this is years? the 13th annual. Wow. Uh, it was started by President Barney Forsyth during his uh, administration, and we have been able to bring in some amazing speakers from uh, past speakers, including uh, many of the past green lecturers have been in part of the symposium. Yeah. And yeah. it's been an amazing event that's allowed students to get exposed to ideas from literally all over the world. It's an, it's an incredible thing. Right here on this campus mm -hmm. next week. Exactly. Terrific. I'm going to make sure I catch every <laughs> event I can. Yeah. Uh, do you want to tell me a little bit more about uh, this specific one? This symposium kind of came up as an idea when I was talking to the, uh, the director of the Churchill Institute about what we could do. and talking about the way that creativity often gets kind of swept under the rug in current discourses about how you know the modern world should function. I, had, I actually met with a student this morning who was telling me about how he was worried about not being able to get a job with an English major. And this, this idea that somehow creative discourse is not marketable, yeah. the reality is that in a world where increasingly our economy is becoming automated, Creativity is even more important than it used to be. Sure is. Uh, and so we're trying to bring in people from tons of different disciplines to explain the way that cre ways that creativity and innovation affect business, uh, intellectual di in discourse, uh, academic endeavors, the whole nine yards. So hopefully there's something in this that will appeal to everybody. Well, it certainly appeals to me, Nate. Sounds like you've got a great program put together. Great. So folks, we'll see you next week at the symposium. And in the meantime, we got another catch fletch that we've already planned. You can't wait to see what it is, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.